How goes everything, my friends? This is Nasal with the Talking Nose, and we're going to continue Natless Minds in Tomb Raider 1. Let's do that now. I know the rest of the part. I know some parts to do. I'm going to tell you. Explain it. We sent that motor canoe over. We triggered the motor canoe. Sorry, I went that way. And once again, that ominous music is playing. That same ominous music. You can go down here, you can go off and drop off and go into I also mentioned you can take a shortcut, and I'm gonna display it. I'm gonna tell you that soon. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Here we are in the motor canoe. So we take a jump over here. And there are boxes. There are crates with Natla technology. These that has Natla technologies. They're labeled Natlet Technologies. Now we got the Magnum Clips on the left side. Let's pull the block and push this to the left. Here's the best way to do it. I guess the way. Right. Eh? Eh? This is the best, the quickest time. Do the ones with the have that the Natlet is covered with that with a mark on the word A. The ones that look like that. They have to look like that. flip the switch inside here. And then that minecart will, will run. We ride one into we'll, we'll go we'll, we'll move that'll trigger the minecart to crash. We ride a minecart in Tomb Raider 3. In our Tech mines. And that's when we'll do it in Tomb Raider 3. And look at those barrels. Junkyard barrels. And there are some buffers over here. It went into the buffers. And let's move this block into here. Go pick up the fuses. Pick up two fuses. We can get the last two fuses and move on. And there's also a secret in this video we're gonna get. We push this block along the railroad. And here we are. And there are Uzi clips up here. Another, the game I'm getting is Machine Head. It's another game by Idos Interactive. I love Idos Interactive games. They're my favorite. It was made in 1996 as well. Now we're gonna flip the switch. I, Idos Interactive games were, were from my childhood. They were from my era. Not uh, Annie. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna f f pick up the fuse. Kill that cowboy, evil cowboy. Come back for that evil cowboy later. Might not be until the next video. Well, speaking of which, anywho, we'll just continue on. And there's a save game crystal. We're going back and through uh, through this waterfall. Go back up to the caves. We'll take this route around. Take the cave route. And the mine route. The mine caves. That music playing. That intense music playing. And, and we're back in here. We're gonna in, get another fuse. Look, look. The next fuse. The final fuse. And put them in, and then the and the building will be lowered once and for all. This one is on a conveyor belt. You have to flip the switch to activate the conveyor belt. Let's do that now. I think I'm doing a better video now. And the conveyor belt is activated. It's triggered. You'll hear the sound. You can hear the sound. The grinding sound. Now I have the last fuse. I love these fuses. They have these fuses that look kind of weird. Kind of look like a pill a little bit. Kind of either a pill or an hourglass. Hourglass pill. 
It kind of, it kind of makes me laugh the way they are designed. Um, because this is a P PlayStation One video game. In PlayStation Two, they might have a different color or be labeled clearer. This is what I like about oh, PlayStation One video games. We got first fuse, and we're gonna get. The se I mean, the second fuse, and we're gonna get the third fuse. Last and final fuse. And now the building is lowered. Let's head into it. But right now. And there are the pistols. And we don't need to. I'm not gonna worry about the pistols because I have the cheat. I'm gonna do that again. Sorry about that. I'm gonna delete that. I'm back for now. You have to be closer enough to it. And believe it or not, there's a secret. Which is in here, like I told you, like I was gonna tell you. Here it is. There's a lava trap door. Or don't go into it. Don't fall down. Do it safely. You have to jump over it. And here's the secret. The secret contains a long health pack and Uzi clips. And we're gonna flip a switch to get out. And now we have 37 secrets in the game. They don't count the last secret, unfortunately. I'll tell you later when we get to that. I'll explain the whole thing about it as much as I can. And now we can stay on the trapdoor because we won't fall down the lava to the lava. Now let's go down from here. <coughs> this video we might be able to kill the cowboy, I, the evil cowboy. And get the hench cowboy. Desperado is what it is. And save me crystal and kill the Desperado. Let's do it now. I'm gonna use the shotgun. And that's the best way to do it. Here's the shotgun I'm using. Go around the box. Here, he's gonna say, ain't nothing personal, is what he's gonna say. Ain't nothing personal. Right now. Ain't nothing personal. Try to dodge his attacks. He kind of fired at us. Let's kill him. He's dead. We're gonna use a long health pack, almost dead. We fired at him. He takes quicker, less rounds when it, less bullets whenever you're, when you're closer to him. You have to be closer to him to do that. The video is perfect time, perfectly timed. Now we're using a short health pack. Except the magnum, which you already have. The ammo doesn't increase. He's speaking of that, if you're asking. Ammo stays the same. I don't know when they increase the ammo. And now we're right here. We're gonna save. Save game crystal. We can stop. This has been Nasal the Talking Nose in the second part of Natla's Minds, and I'll see you in the third part of Natla's Minds. See you there, friends. See you there.